together with his family, had many ties with our country. He and they lived among us in that doom-laden period which led up to the outbreak of war. The experience of those days led him to write, when still a young man, a most perceptive analysis of the predicament in which Britain found herself. Ever after, he maintained a deep and steady interest in the affairs of this na nation whose history and literature he knew and loved so well. His elder brother, flying from these shores on a hazardous mission, was killed in our common struggle against the evil forces of a cruel tyranny. A dearly loved sister lies buried in an English churchyard. Bonds like these cannot be broken, and his abiding affection for Britain engendered an equal response from this side of the Atlantic. The unprecedented intensity of that wave of grief, mixed with something akin to despair, which swept over our people at the news of President Kennedy's assassination, was a measure of the extent to which we recognized what he had already accomplished, and of the high hopes that rode with him in a future that was not to be. Of English soil, is now bequeathed in perpetuity to the American people in memory of President John Fitzgerald Kennedy, who in death my people still mourn and whom in life they loved and admired. <laughs>